art of being a good scientist is actually having good taste in questions. Questions that are answerable and interesting. <laughs> I am Andrea Gez, G-H-E-Z. Black holes, supermassive black holes. The most exotic objects in the universe, says child. They used to keep me up at night. What does it mean that something has no finite size, no edge, no beginning, no end? I think my first fascination with science and astronomy and astrophysics came from the moon landing. I was four when that happened, so now you can figure out how old I am. And I was totally fascinated. Got me hooked. And there's maybe the confession that not only did I want to be an astronaut, but I also wanted to be a ballerina. It wasn't obvious to me that I would become a scientist. So stars have a life cycle. They're born, they live, and then the most massive stars end up as black holes. They are defined by their immense, immense amounts of gravity. Gravity is so intense that nothing can escape them, not even light. Is there a supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy? Matter, as it gets close to the black hole, due to the very intense gravity, starts to move at very high speeds. So to prove that there's a supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy, we're going to watch the orbits of stars. Stars that are as close to the center of the galaxy as possible, which means that I want the largest telescope I can possibly get my hands on. a bad place to have to go to work. It's the largest telescope in the world, which means I can see closer to the center of the galaxy. In theory. <laughs> the problem for the Keck telescope is that it's here on Earth, and we have to see through our atmosphere. A total headache for astronomers. The stars look like big blobs. The Earth's atmosphere is like a circus funhouse mirror. So if you look at yourself in a funhouse mirror, you look completely distorted and then we introduce a second mirror that's the exact opposite shape to correct for the distorting effects of the Earth's atmosphere. These are a factor of 20 sharper than if you had done nothing. And for the first time, we can see the center of the galaxy, and in particular, these stars. They're the ones that are gonna tell us what's at the center of the galaxy. So we started off in 1995, and every year since then, we've taken an image. Just take a picture, and you watch how things move on the plane of the sky. Up to 10 million miles per hour, they're really hauling. four million times the mass of the sun. This is the proof that there's a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, and that supermassive black holes really do exist. I think, I think we have people convinced.